screwed. Okay, so this is Julie Makala from the Stencil Specialist, our Australian distributor. She's so good to help us sponsor prizes on her blog for all of our Aussie friends. We're so happy to have her in our booth here today. She's going to show us how to paint on silk with watercolor markers. So, go Julie. Okay, so I've already begun the process. So I stamped the silk and I use a rubber stamp, not a... Um, a um, polymer stamp okay. because the lines are a little thicker and you don't want the ink to jump containment lines. So I've stamped it with a Versamark, you don't have to iron the silk okay. and then you apply your embossing powder, tap it off and then heat it through. Very quick process, okay. don't go too hard because the more you heat the embossing powder the more it spreads on the silk. Sure. Okay. okay, so once and that you... that flat. And that's flat. flat. Once you have the stamping and the embossing done then you can stretch it on your embroidery hoop. Okay. Okay. Once we've got it stretched now, I've started, I can see I've started, I'm going to take my uh, La Plume marker, Marby marker, and just tip a little colour here and there. Well, that looks easy enough, like anybody could do that. <laughs> anybody can do okay, this. Okay, good. Anybody. I mean, let the children go rampant, it's fine. <laughs> okay, and you just tip it. You can go back when it's laid. I was just saying to Fran, once you've done this, when it's dry, as you can see, it's dry. If you're not happy, you want to add more colour, go back and do it. But don't do just one little area in a section, do the whole thing again with water, otherwise it'll end up patchy. Right, sure. So we take a nice fine brush, and I'm dipping it just in plain water. Don't want it too wet and then just tip it to where you have the ink and you watch the magic happen. Oh my god, that. that is so much fun. Now you can manipulate the ink a little bit, but you're not brushing, you're not, the hardest thing to get used to doing this is that I'm not actually brushing the ink, I'm letting it spread. Because as, as an artist, you, you, you know, you're tempted to keep <laughs> brushing at it. You want to control it. Yes, yes. you do, and this is a non-controllable um, technique. So don't worry if it doesn't do what you expect it to do because nobody's will. <laughs> just gives you such beautiful little watermarks this it way. It does, absolutely stunning. Okay, and that's all you do. That's, that's the entire oh. process. How much fun is that? That is just wonderful. I'm just getting back and in And it seems now. to dry pretty quickly. It does. If you want to, to stop the, because this will keep spreading, until it's dry. If you want to stop that spreading process, then just hit it with a heat gun very quickly though to stop it from, from doing its thing. Wow, that's beautiful. Wonderful. And so let me pull fun. out the other finished ones that you had. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, great. Pull fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look how fun that is. Oh, our little pen pattern bird is yeah. so cute. And then, and then you just did little line. dots out here, I take it, for the Actually, background? Uh, one, when I did the um, just colour and then watered it right down, um, you put salt on it and it will oh, yeah, draw some yeah. of the ink. Sure. Oh. That's beautiful. That's just beautiful. And then here's another. Okay. Look at this. Wow. Good job, Julie. Thank so you. So that, that looks like you were able to do some really nice shading, but again, you just start at yes. that end of that compartment yes. and let it... Yes. Oh, that's just beautiful. absolutely So it's, it's nice to know that if you actually um, you put the ink down there and you put the water there, it will push it in the opposite yeah, direction yeah, so that wonderful. they will meet up in the middle. And it's, nice, oh. and it's fun that you used the sparkly embossing powders. Yes. That really yeah. adds a nice yeah. dimension it to does. it. It does. That's yeah, fun. Definitely. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much. You're Thanks welcome. for sharing with us from our CHA booth. <laughs>